안녕하십니까? 니콜라스 입니다. And dialogues, models, or pop-ups, whatever you want to call them, is something that every front-end developer will eventually have to build. Implementing a model manually isn't fun. You have to use either plain JavaScript or jQuery or React combined with CSS to hide the model, then put it on the center, you need to obscure the background while the model is showing, you need to prevent the user from scrolling, and so on. Or you can use the dialog HTML element, which is already supported by all the major browsers. With the dialog element, building a model takes no time and almost no JavaScript and CSS code whatsoever. Let me show you. Here we have a button followed by the dialog element. But as you can see, only the button is visible to the user. The modal is hidden by default. To open the modal, we are going to grab both the button and the dialog from our JavaScript. We are going to listen for clicks on the button. And when a click happens, we are going to call the method show modal on our dialog. And that's it. Now, as you can see, when we click on the button, the model will show up on the center of the page, on top of the button. It will obscure the background as well, and it will stay at the center of the screen, even if the user scrolls. The model will also be automatically closed when the user presses the escape key. To create a close button in our model, we will put a form inside of our dialog with the method property set to dialog. As you can see, when we click the button, the model closes. It works out of the box without any extra JavaScript, which is great. Let's add another button to our model. This time with a value of confirm and let's give a close value to our close button as well. To know which button the user clicked, we're going to go back to our JavaScript and there we are going to add an event listener to be notified when the model is closed. And inside of the listener, we will console log a property of our model called return value, which is the value of the button that the user clicked. And as you can see, back in our console, we can now know which button was clicked. That was so simple. Just 10 lines of JavaScript code, and we have a model with buttons and all. If you want to change the color of the background when the dialog is open, you can do so by using the backdrop pseudo element on CSS. We can go for a darker color or for a completely different color. We can also style the dialog element directly in our CSS. Like on this code where we remove the border, give it a shadow and some rounded corners, making our model look very, very nice. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found the dialog element useful. As you can see, browsers are getting so much better and we can accomplish so much without writing that much code. We still need JavaScript, but thankfully JavaScript is very easy to learn, especially if you take our free JavaScript for beginners course, where we spend eight hours learning JavaScript together and where we build things like clocks, to-do lists, wedding information, geolocation, and more. To join, just click the link below, enroll for free, and I will see you there. Onodo, kamsahago, saranghago, daumebuayo, see you on the next one. I go, daumebuayo.